Hello YouTube, it's Herp Derp here with another episode of Spy Vaults and Warframe. And today we're gonna do this easily recognizable room that corresponds to what I think of as the Grenier Parkour Room. And the reason for that is because this room has, okay, it has at low You're levels, it has maybe console. one little sensor regulator. The alarm now, and they will but by this point, it's so we're going to have two sensor regulators, probably one of which has Xmas, and a couple of arc traps, and it's oh, actually a big pain to go around if you haven't yet discovered. Whoa. A power fist that I want my booty. If you haven't yet discovered alternate ways to solve this room, then it does end up being quite a bit of a pain to take out all the guards. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow the principle of not hacking the door if we don't have to. We're going to go through the back way here. Now, you may have hopped into this room before and asked, well, what does this have to do with the rest of the, the spy vault? Well, I'll tell you. See if I can hit these jumps since I'm on, got mobilized right now. Oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> okay, so this is why it's called, I think of it as the parkour room. Because the easiest way to complete this vault is just to avoid this one set of lasers, a little bit of mild warframe parkour, it's fun, then you're done. Oh gosh, no, 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 all right. Now I'm really beginning to regret that I didn't do this with the warframe like Loki or Valkyr or something that I can just go straight to my target location, you know? Okay. I'm going to try this again. I'm failing for you guys on YouTube because you can see how hard it actually is to balance on this little ledge and hop past each of these little vertical beams. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Hey, anyway, once you get down to the end, you can hop up here. And now you're completely free sailing because none of the regulators ever look all the way into this room and or look up. So now, you have a free shot into the room. Either you can hop down there and just hack the door from the outside, which is pretty easy, or you can try and hit this on the first try. Nope. So I get to I get to do some more flailing around parkour for you guys on YouTube. Woohoo! All right. Uh, okay. Well, this is an annoying thing. See, that that's what's annoying about this particular vault is the back way is so much easier. <laughs> Like I said, the back way is so much easier, but there's so much... Uh, it just goes to show my point that there's so many little clipping hitboxes and things that just aren't... There we go, that'll help. Just aren't working the way they were probably designed to work. Anyway, so once you get through there, and you're done with all the hassle, you drop... I've never seen... I've seen this room in a level 35 mission with ice and nightmare modifiers, and that door was still open. See, you can always go through there. Get to the room. Excellent and then work. finally, you can get a out this way. With no Does this door open automatically? No, it doesn't. Alright, so just let, let me go through and see what all I just avoided. I did. Oh, an arc trap. One regulator. Two regulator. And, oh, there wasn't an arc trap over here. So just those three this time. But this is this is actually a pretty little level version of this room. And I avoid having to deal with that annoying jump there by doing a bunch of other annoying jumps. And I have to hack this door. So I'm doing that anyway just to demonstrate. So that's how you could go through if you want to go through and kill everything. But like I said, parkour is usually a lot easier on the high level versions of this. So. That's the parkour room. Purple Peace, YouTube.